are you all hope you all are doing well in this class we are going to start our topic that is plastics and environment but before going to this topic let us have a quick revision on what all things we have discussed in the previous classes these all things we have discussed in the previous classes that is the general properties of plastic all the three general properties we have seen in much detail that is about the reactiveness of the plastic that it is the least reactive material as compared to the other materials then we have seen that it is lightweight and it is very strong and durable also it is the poor conductor of heat and electricity both then we have seen about some of the uses of plastic in the other fields like in the medical field it is used in most of the medical products like syringe saline water bottles and extra then we have seen about the fire suit that is coated with melamine that is a type of plastic which which does not catch fire then we have also seen some of the kitchen wares which are coated with the plastic these all things we have already discussed now in this video we are going to talk about the plastics and environment so without any further delay let's get started plastics and environment now we are going to talk in this video about the relation between the plastic and the environment in our day to day life we use a lot of plastics in our household things for carrying the items for wrapping some of the items and in the many different things we are using the plastic in our lunch box also it is a plastic box so when we use it it becomes after the use of that particular carry bag it becomes waste for us and we want to throw it in a garbage as soon as we throw it in a garbage we are having the dust bins in our home we throw it there in our dust bin then the municipality vehicle comes to collect those garbages we throw it there but it becomes headache for those municipal party corporation where to dispose it off because plastic is having that property as we have already discussed that it is having a very low decay rate it is having a very long life period that's why it has become a curse for the nature that it does not decompose off easily that's why it is a garbage which is to be managed properly otherwise it is going to harm us in many ways now we will see the category of material according to their decomposing property so there are two categories of the material first is biodegradable and second is non biodegradable biodegradable is that category of material which can be decomposed by the natural things like air water soil it can be decomposed of suppose we are throwing any of the cotton or any of the vegetables waste in a soil it can be decomposed of after some time but if we are throwing plastic or any type of metal in a soil or in water it can't be decomposed of after a several time also so that is the category biodegradable and non biodegradable the material which can be decomposed by the natural phenomenon is called biodegradable materials the materials which cannot be decomposed by the natural substances are known as non biodegradable materials examples we can write for biodegradable cloth cotton for non biodegradable we can write plastics metal etc so these are some of the categories of the material according to their property of decomposable plastics are considered as non biodegradable material because it takes a very long time to decompose off in a soil properly if if i throw a plastic pouch today it will take at least more than 100 years or it may take more than 500 years to dispose of completely in that soil but if i'll throw a same piece of cotton it will take hardly 2 to 3 months to get disposed of totally here i am showing you a list of those materials according to their time of decomposable in soil and the category to which they belong now we will see some of the problems associated with the disposal of plastic so there are some of the problems by the by disposing of plastics that we are facing this day the first one is burning if we are having a lot of plastic collected in our home and if we want to burn it it creates a lot of smoke for it and the smoke coming out from the burning of plastic is very much harmful for the living beings if it goes inside our lungs it creates a lot of diseases then then the next is buried in soil as i have already discussed that 
the plastics cannot be disposed in soil also it takes a very long time to get disposed of in soil if we dispose it in soil it damages the quality or the fertility of soil where it is disposed of then the third is careless disposal if we just use the plastic bags and carelessly if we throw in any of the drains it gets choked the drains get choked and because of that the water gets accumulated and in that accumulated water lots of disease causing pathogens may emerge and the plastics where it is choked it serves as home for many of the bacteria and viruses which causes harm to the living things then the fourth one is harm to the other living beings we use plastic for our convenience and we just throw it in a garbage we dump it in the garbage but the other animals like cow buffalo goat whenever they go for grazing in those dumps they accidentally or unknowingly eat those plastics in which we have thrown some food or the things what they eat suppose we have thrown uh, our vegetable waste by keeping it in a plastic and we have thrown it to the garbage dump so the cow those who are coming there they just eat it and unknowingly they eat those plastic bags also and it causes their death so this all four points are the problems which are associated with the disposal of waste so to overcome this problem there are some points which we can follow so that it will be easy for us to have a proper management of the plastic garbage there are some of the solutions to overcome the problems associated with the disposal of plastic here are some of the solutions first one replace the plastic bag with cotton or jute bag whenever we go to the market we should not use any of the plastic bags if the shopkeeper is also giving us we should say no to plastic and we should have our own cotton or jute bag with us to carry the items the next one is recycling of plastic we have to use that type of plastic which can be recycled you might have seen some of the rag pickers they come to the garbage dumps and they used to collect those plastics nowadays municipality has also given us the segregation of waste the third one is the segregation of waste they have given us the two bins that is the blue bin and the green bin in one we have to collect the biodegradable waste and in the second one we have to collect the non biodegradable waste so it will be easy for them to segregate it and they can be recycled as easy as possible so these are the three solutions what we are having to overcome the problem associated with the disposal of plastic bags in our modern science technology scientists are discovering for those type of plastics which are photo degradable that means the plastics which can be decomposed by the rays of sunlight or by the radiations of sunlight it can be decomposed so scientists are finding those type of plastics to overcome the problems associated with the disposal of plastics being a responsible citizen of our society it is our duty also to manage the plastic waste properly and to help the government and to help maintain our city clean so for that we should always remember the 4r that is known as 4r that is what we have to refuse the plastic whenever there is a new plastic coming we have to refuse it suppose a shopkeeper is giving you the plastic bag just refuse it and say that we are having our own cotton or jute bag so first of all we have to refuse the plastic then the second is we have to reduce the use of plastic whenever we are having some materials with plastic items suppose our bottle is of plastic we have to replace it with steel bottle our tiffin box is of plastic we have to replace it with the steel tiffin box we can replace so we have to reduce in this way we have to reduce the use of plastic then the third one recycle whatever the plastic materials are there which can be recycled that we have to segregate in proper bin and then we have to give it to the municipal corporation so that they can recycle it so the same plastic can be used again and again there will be no introduction of new plastic in our environment so it will reduce a lot of means it will manage a lot lots of plastic waste products then we have to reuse whatever the thing we have recycled we can reuse it 
but the bottles in which it is written crush the bottle after use we don't have to use that again and again because it is made from those type of which can't be reused again and again that type of bot bottles are harmful for us to use it again and again so we have to just crush it and throw it it will be recycled and it will come again to us in a same form so it is our duty to keep our environment clean and say no to plastic what you think about the plastic and how it can be disposed if you have any idea you can just comment in the comment section below so this was all about the today's class hope you have understood about it here are some questions for you that you have to solve so here is the questions for you the first question is what are the major problems associated with the disposal of plastics and how to overcome it you have to write the major problems and you have to write the points how to overcome it and the next question is what is 4R? These are only the two questions we have to solve. Hope you have understood about today's class. Thank you.